All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So we are live right now to crack the May twenty three RTP and MTP. Friends, even before I start, I would just like to inform about a particular areas that I have already covered in the earlier free live sessions, and what more I am going to do. We started off a few days back with a one day marathon. The main objective of one day marathon was. minimum questions maximum adjustment so that one day before the exam you can have a very good grip today what are we doing we are doing may 23 rtp and mtp all right why we are doing this is because these are definitely important for the upcoming exam and we can hope at least one or two questions come from this apart from this friends coming week we are doing super 50 there are the top 50 questions which according to me has a high probability of coming in the exam and the final thing that we'll be doing a week after that is what we call it as the theory marathon so you will have to spend maybe around 6 hours and we'll complete off the entire study material theory in that so today we are here with mtp and rtp may 2023 all right there are even more free important contents available in my app you just have to install here and you will be getting those such as 25 hour marathon you can finish off sfm in 25 hours you have concept videos whichever concept you want that is available and the moment you install this app my team will give you a call and they will elaborate what all the areas that are available how they are important to you scmp case theory digest is available many such things are available friends so i have kept a lot of free learning so that this exam let's just finish it off all right shall we now start off positively with the first question friends now today in one day we are covering rtp as well as mtp so i will be going at a little fast pace but please don't worry along with when i am writing you also write down along with me okay suppose you miss out on something don't worry at all this entire notes will be converted into the pdf and it will be shared with you you just have to join the whatsapp group that's all the moment you join this whatsapp group i will be putting this notes over there so you will not lose out on anything so these notes will be done exactly from an examination perspective is everybody clear shall we start off with today's session then all right all right friends let's start off now question by question we'll start cracking it so every question i will give you 30 seconds time just read understand the question then i will start cracking it question number 1 come on quickly read through the question ji ha i am recording these questions also these videos will be available later on also okay please read through it but it's always better to attend it live jihas very much effective record it you will feel like watching you will have the security the video is there but many of you do not watch it later on okay all right please read through the question now right let's do it together friends any question that i crack we go by the following methodology working note number 1 will be basic data so here they have given the issue price how much is the issue price for like 87750 how much is the face value 5 lakh so tell me friends how much is the discount that you get over here can someone help me out with that Do you get the answer as twelve thousand two hundred and fifty? All right, friends. There is a formula for bond equivalent yield, and the formula is discount amount divided by what current market price. So it will be twelve thousand two fifty divided by four lakh eighty seven thousand seven fifty. Do 
when I do this, do you get the answer as 2.51 percentage? All right. The logic of this 2.51 percentage is that I have invested 4 lakh 87 thousand, on which I am getting a return of how much? 2.51 percentage. I will not buy this bond if my father was giving me 3 percent. I am buying this bond because my father is giving me less than or equal to 2.51 percent. Hence, this becomes my expectation. Everybody clear with this part? Okay. So we get the bond equivalent yield. Now they have given various other charges. Hold on. This is for three months, is it? Okay. Duration is three months. So I will do into 12 by three. So tell me how much will you get when you do into 12 by three? Do I get? Yes, we get 10.04 percent. Perfect. Then you will have brokerage. How much is the brokerage that you have friends? 0 0.15 again for three months. So for, uh, hold on, 0.15 for three months. So that will turn out to be 0.6% per annum. Everybody clear? Then what do you have next? Rating charges. Rating charges are directly given as how much? 0.55% per annum. Am I right? And last one is what? Stamp duty. How much is the stamp duty? Does it turn out to be 0.20 for three months? So I'll get the answer as 0 0.80 percentage per annum. So now tell me based on this, what is the total that you get over here? Do I get the total as 11.99 percentage per annum? This is going to be my expectation. So we are done with this part. I'll give you one minute time right now. Then we go to the next question. Hold on, is there some calculation error? 11.99 is correct, right? Yeah, please come again. Okay, here they have done it in a slightly different manner. We've got 10.05%, right? All right, they have taken a bond equivalent yield. Okay, fine. That's fine. This answer is correct. I'll give you alternative answer also. Okay. This answer is correct. Let everyone just write down. This we have done using the concept of bond equivalent yield. Okay. Yeah. This is one of the methods that can be used. Another method is called as effective annual return. So I'll go to the next page now. Okay. Alternative answer. I'll give it as alternative answer. Because to find out the yield, you can either go by bond equivalent or you can do it using something called as effective annual return. So the formula for effective annual return is 1 plus y whole power n minus 1 or that will turn out to be 1 plus 2.51 percentage whole raised to what is the period of duration that is given over here 4 right whole raised to 4 minus 1. So I believe we'll get the answer as 10.42 percentage. Am I right? All right. Once you get 10.42 percentage, what will you do? You will add 0.6 percent brokerage, 0.55 percent, and you will add 0.8 percent. Now you check what answer do you get over here? Do I get the answer as 12.37 percentage friends? This is also your effective yield. So in the exam, yes, yes. Okay, one minute, one minute. Your voice was little unclear. You are having a doubt. Let me just understand the doubt. Your doubt is that why are we adding these charges and why are we not reducing it is your doubt. Am I right? Mm. All right, let's just read the question once again. Here, what have they told? Compute the effective interest rate per annum. So when I issue the bond, all right, as an investor, you're going to put how much money over here? 4 lakh 87,000, am I right? All right, so you get less money, but when you repay, let's say you're talking from an 
आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम द बॉन्ड होल्डर्स और आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम द बॉन्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई रिसीव फोर लैक एटी सेवन करेक्ट एम ए राइट बट आई पे बैक टू द इन्वेस्टर हाउ मच मनी फाइव लैक सो आई हैव एन एक्सपेंडिचर ओवर देर एम ए राइट along with that i have brokerage expense also rating charge also stamp duty also so from my point of view from the company's point of view they are not only paying the interest they are also paying all these charges correct clear uh, just check your network connectivity okay there is a little bit of a disturbance over there but i hope you are clear with the answer now okay okay fine thank you All right. Please write down this also in your books, and we are done with question number one. Question number one can be either solved using bond equivalent yield method, or it can be solved using what effective annual return method.